we're making ribs today, baby back ribs. I had I, I did all the preliminary stuff, except a little bit. I made a rib uh, a rub out of all this different stuff here. This will be <clears throat> added here in a minute. It goes in a pot. Anyways, probably about a, a teaspoon. Now let's let's say I put somewhere in the neighborhood between a half, a, in between a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Somewhere upwards of a tablespoon for everything except pepper and cayenne pepper as a teaspoon. And all this was, and this here was probably, this parsley was probably uh, a teaspoon. This was probably two to three tablespoons. You know, I'm, I'm real accurate on my measure. I'm just giving you a, a go by, you know. This was a couple of tablespoons. This was full two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. Then I got a cup of water. I'll give it a shot of apple cinnamon, apple cider vinegar. Sure you get the exact amount needed. Give it a little shot of liquid smoke. Make sure that is accurate. Now get them measurements perfect. Like I do. And well, hold on a minute. I gotta pause this minute because I wanna lift. I got, I got this little gizmo in there. But I, I wanna lift my the ribs off the bottom a little bit better than that. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna find something to put under there. Be right back. Well, the kitty cat <laughs> has decided to play with my uh, tripod and he knocked everything out and while I was fixing this. Like I said, I wanted to raise this rack up off the bottom of the sun and that keeps it out of this liquid. And I've had this Instapot. It don't look like much liquid. Don't overdo anything though. I've never done that a little bit. I add too much because I'll have to raise the thing up a little bit more. I uh, pre mixed up everything. You know, shorten the video a little bit. I tend to ramble on. Took all this stuff, pre mixed it up, made it, rubbed it on here, on the back. Now, on these ribs, there's a membrane back there. Get under that membrane with a, a knife and get it started. And get you some paper towels. Get a hold of that membrane and pull it off. Sometimes you have to do a couple big long strips depending on how it comes off. Get that membrane off there, kid. That just, it don't cook. I don't know what the crap it's made out of. But rub it down real good. Or cut it in half. Make it a little easier to handle. Okay. Make that look good. Shift. The makeshift thing ain't working too good. Yeah. Ah, get in there. Get up like this. Try it like that. The thing fell off here. Got Jackman. Jackman. Great back up. There we go. Ah. That's looking pretty good. Now, I mixed it all up in a bowl. And uh, get soapy water, keep your hands clean. Bought some towel. That's over here. 
mixed it all up, rubbed it in, you know, I put some pictures, I'll put pictures in the comments, and I'll let you know, cat, you're going to die, you're going to die out there, anyways, I don't know, you, let you know the approximate amount of, what is it my lid, there it is, rub that you need, you know, adjust your, just everything. Oop, that's backwards. That's backwards. All right. Now, it'll give you an idea. You have a, you know, a pile of stuff this big. You know, a couple cups worth or so. A cup worth or two. Anyways, you just make a rub. That's all it is. Just make a rub. You can buy some really good rubs in there. You want to do the rub thing and put it in your Instapot. Or, you know, if you're still old fashioned, like I am, I got several of the old school pressure cookers. We are going to set this on a pretty good chunk of meat. The recipe calls for 25 minutes. I'm going to fudge a little bit. And uh, boy, I might have shook that up a little bit. Hmm. I might have shook that up a little bit. Give that right a little bit. Actually, that already smells pretty good. Give it a little shot. Like I said, I had this cooker warming. Hell. Ah, now. Yeah. Come and plug it on me. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up to 35 minutes because I I wanna make sure it's done. I worry about uncooked meat really bad. And for all my West Virginia citizens, Defense League people, I apologize. I had that shirt on over there. My other ones was all dirty. I didn't want to cook in a dirty shirt. So I got out my really good dress and I got flour and stuff on it. They're not flour, but dust and whatnot. I don't want to run my West Virginia Citizens Defense League colored version shirt. I won't make that mistake again. But, however, Webster County Highlanders, uh, last count I had, they was undefeated. I think they played last night and I hadn't heard anything. Them boys are on fire, them basketball boys. Uh, last I heard, they was third in the state. So if they keep staying undefeated, they should get up there as number one. They're doing a heck of a job. Go Highlanders. Go Highlanders. I'm going to set this thing for, uh, hang on now. What the hell? Here we go. Eh. This thing's complicated. I'm not that smart. Ah, there we go. time of just there we go I finally figured it out finally figured it out well it goes to 25 minutes alright is that started I hope it is we're going to close this off yep ok so we're going to do it 25 minutes but I'm not taking it out I'm going to reset it you know, and do it for another six minutes anyway. Six, seven, eight minutes. I want to make sure that meat's done, you know. So I'll be back after that when it is done because there's another step to this after this. Calls for Baby Ray. Yeah, I love this stuff. We'll be back in a little bit, about 30 minutes. All right, we're back. And, uh, better get a hat on. Done took this all out of the oven, or out of the slow cooker. It's fairly tender. I had trouble getting it out. You ever hear a fall off the bone tender? It's tender as it can be. And being a chef, I took a little sample or two. It's really good. This is the spice part. This will be the sweet part. 
kind of got a little bit of heat to it. Not real bad. And now we're going to add sweet. And lots of it. I know everybody likes to do ribs on the grill and in the smoker. And I don't have that. I got a grill, but I wasn't going to spend all day out there messing around with it. cooking over there in that kettle and over there we got some baked potatoes and for Dr. Sam you will be proud there is no salt added to my concoction that I made what we're going to do we're going to throw this in the broiler just a little bit heat that sauce up and dry it up just a shade Probably gonna do it about oh five minutes or so, just just to where that sauce kind of dries up a little bit. I cleaned my kitchen all up. I got my cookies put away that I made a while ago. Just got a few little dishes to do now. Like I like I said earlier, I'm not wearing my West Virginia Citizens Defense League shirt. Kind of got a little bit dirty, and this one here I don't want to get dirty. And I got some of that cookie stuff on there, a little bit of peanut butter. So I took it off and I put my Highlander shirt on. Highlander boys basketball was doing real good last. Last I heard, they was undefeated, third in the state. I've had a game or so since I've checked in, but let's go Highlanders, okay? West Virginia Citizens Defense League, number one pro Second Amendment group in West Virginia. We're kind of like uh, NRA, but we're just West Virginia focused mostly. So check them all out. I'm going to pause this, and then we're going to give that a few more minutes to dry up, and we'll give a taste test. All right, be right back. All right, we are back. Ribs are done. Uh, real sweet heat. Find some meat. There we go. I'm gonna bring camera over and let you have a close up view here. We're kind of far back, but. Mm. Dang, that's really. Really tasty. There it is. What do you think? I mean, it's just fall off the bone. You see what I'm saying? So, a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. All right. Janet come in and fix your plate and I'll fix mine and we'll eat. So try it people. I'm telling you this is really good and tender and give this give this recipe a try. And as always, Trump 2020. We'll see you on the next video. Time to eat. Come in.